Welcome to the Friday Phoenix, the only new show in the world, except for all the other ones. In our top story tonight, a band apologized after their singer peed on a fan's face during a concert, saying, Sophia got carried away. And who among us hasn't gotten a little carried away and publicly urinated onto another human in front of a huge crowd while a sousaphone player stares in horror? <laughs> That's just what getting carried away looks like, baby. The Wisconsin governor has National Guard troops on standby in anticipation of the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. The governor has also taken the drastic step of lacing the water supply with NyQuil, saying, you can't start shit if you're in a coma. In Don't Worry, It's Not the End Times news, three people were killed in Egypt by a plague of scorpions. In related news, NASA reports that the longest lunar eclipse in centuries will give the moon a blood-like appearance. And finally, four guys were seen riding on horseback and talking about the end of days, but we're told that those are just four lovable scamps and not to worry about a thing. <laughs> Maybe cancel those weekend plans, though. An investment group is purchasing the Trump Hotel in Washington, D.C., and are expected to change the name to something a little less controversial, like the Abortion Gun Control Hotel. It was revealed that the Trump administration repeatedly blocked important COVID warnings because they didn't want to cause a panic. Well, great news. It worked! <laughs> I don't know about you, but I was totally able to homeschool my kids while running a business, while drinking from a fire hose of conflicting information, while feeling like a prisoner in my own home without any panic whatsoever. <laughs> Can you imagine if the White House had been all, oh no, <laughs> that would have been terrible. <laughs> On his podcast, Joe Rogan claims that he can give himself a blowjob, which doesn't seem like much of a stretch given how many times he's put his foot in his mouth. Retailers are encouraging shoppers to get an early start on their Christmas shopping due to supply chain issues. For best results, order everything in green, and if it doesn't get there in time for Christmas, you can have a very merry St. Patrick's Day. Folks. Thanksgiving is a time for gathering with family, eating too much, and having uncomfortable conversations. But don't worry, we're here to help you avoid and deflect like a pro in our new segment, Shut It Down, Thanksgiving Edition. Honey, you look tired. Have you guys heard the new Taylor Swift song? It's 10 minutes long. Let's listen to it right now. You know, the Mexicans. Has anyone watched a sport? I, I heard that one team ran for a lot of yards, and then they scored points. Runs? Hoops. So I've been watching those QAnon videos. Did you know they're using the vaccine to replace your internal organs with computer parts? Do you have a tampon? Does, does anybody have a tampon? Like a super tampon? I really could use one right now. It reminds me of a sailor I met once on shore leave. He was so handsome, broad shoulders. Oh, he could go all night. <coughs> I'm choking on a chicken bone. <coughs> We're not even having chicken. It's from earlier. <coughs> so, when are you going to get married and have children and give me grandbabies? I can't have kids because I had all my internal organs removed and replaced with computer parts. That damn vaccine! Shut It Down Thanksgiving Edition has been brought to you by Wild Turkey, the only turkey you'll need to get through these conversations. And finally tonight, a Georgia judge has banned the elf on the shelf. Or at least that's what I'm telling my kids. Also, thanks for inventing a thing that requires moms to do more work during the holidays. Between the Christmas shopping and the meal planning and the cooking and the wrapping and the decorating and the Christmas cards and the cleaning and the emotional pressure of trying to make sure that everyone around us has a perfect holiday while we kill ourselves providing it, we are just starting to get so bored. <laughs> that wraps up this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. We'll be off next week overdosing on various casseroles, but we'll see you soon because there's always more news to peruse. Yeah, yeah, yeah,